You may remember a few years ago, the Roanoke region worked to end veteran homelessness altogether. But according to the Trust House, homeless veterans are still popping up around the city. Now, as WSLS 10's Allison Wickline explains, a local veterans group is hoping to help by building at least one of them a home. This lot in northwest Roanoke is on its way to becoming a safe haven for a local homeless veteran. The project is the dream and design of the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association Blue Ridge Chapter. We ride motorcycles as fun, and along the way, we try to help veterans out. Our motto is Vets Helping Vets. By the end of this year, this lot will hold a three-bedroom, two-bathroom home for a veteran in need. And this project really is a community effort. All the labor and supplies have been donated. It became overwhelming because the support from the community, everybody coming together wanting to be involved in it. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Look around this construction zone, and as Scott says, you'll find plenty of generosity. The lot was donated. 84 Lumber is donating the framing, and two local companies have stepped up to give back. It's not about profit. This is about housing, uh, and this is about housing the, the people that, supported our, that support our country and support our way of life. And, uh, you know, I just I couldn't be more proud to be part of it. When we heard that we'd be supporting a combat vet who's in need and, and their family, um, and that this house will always be used for a vet who's in need, um, and it's right in our backyard, so we definitely wanted to be involved. When the home is finished, the trust house will take over and bring a vet back home. A labor of love for countless community organizations and combat veterans taking shape on 10th Street. In Roanoke, Allison Wickline, WSLS 10.